May God bless every prayer warrior in this place. Because the prayer warriors, they don't blame people when things are getting out of place. They go into the place of prayer and start to seek God. I say the prayer warriors, they don't shift the blame. The prayer warriors stand in the gap. And now unlike Cain, Abraham is the brother's keeper. And he has to make sure that whatever happens in Sodom and Gomorrah, the life of the nephew shall be spared. I need this kind of friends in my life who don't celebrate when I'm going down, who don't celebrate when the enemies are at on my neck. But I need the kind of friends who can turn unto the Lord and pray unto God because of my life. Did you come in Eternity City Church? Somebody lift up your hands and say the power and the gift of responsibility because it was the responsibility of Abraham to pray and it was the responsibility of God to spare the Russia's people in Sodom and Gomorrah. I feel like talking to you. Someone said Abraham's responsibility was to pray and God's responsibility was to bring them out. Is there anybody in this place? What you do is to complain over and over again that people don't love you, that people don't respect you. If you want people to love you, you need to be a responsible person. If you need people to respect you, you need to be a responsible person. Praise the name of the living God. So Abraham kept on praying and asking God, God, what will happen if you find 20 people who are doing your will? Are you still going to destroy the city? God said unto Abraham, if I find the 20 people who are doing the will, I'm going to spare the city. Praise the name of God. Stop gossiping people. Sometimes pray for people. I say don't attack the people. Sometimes pray for people. I say don't be that person who likes pulling people down. When you see a problem in the life of somebody, you need to stay and take a charge in prayer and call upon the name of God. Praise the name of the living God. God is saying to Abraham, I know I'm powerful to deliver Sodom and Gomorrah for people are walking with me. But even before I do it, are you willing to take your responsibility? It was the Abraham's responsibility to pray. And it was God's responsibility to deliver the Russia's people in Sodom and Gomorrah. Praise the name of the living God. Some must say responsibilities are given. The difference between you and the people you admire is simply the responsibility. There are people who cannot be responsible for anything. But God is saying unto Abraham, I know I'm powerful to deliver Sodom and Gomorrah, but can I have some essence of responsibility from you? Your responsibility is to pray, and my responsibility is to deliver the city. Praise the name of God. And it came to the time of Lot. The Lord's responsibility was to leave the city. Abraham was to pray. And when it came time for the Lord to leave the city, he started complaining. Praise the name of the living God. When it is your time to leave, you have to leave. For the Bible says when the wife of Lot looked behind, he turned into the pillar of the salt. I decree, declares a man of God, for everybody who is praying uh, that may God empower me with the gift of responsibility. May you begin to change things around you. Are you dead people? Are you religious people? I need people in this place uh, who come to church because uh, there is there's something they need God to do in their lives. Uh, I'm not just coming in to be seen. I came in. Uh, I came in because there is something uh, I need the Lord to do in my life. Uh, my name is Abraham. 
Abraham. So I'm in your presence, God, that you may preserve the life of my nephew. Can I have somebody who have a need in the house of God? And you came in in the morning saying, God, if this thing can be done, if this thing can be fixed, oh, the devil is a liar. I got to preach in this place. I say the witches are liars. The demons are liars. Someone say responsibility. Come on, let's finish this thing. Someone lift up your hands and say the gift of responsibility. Praise the name of God. Some of you think that your life is messed up because of the sorcerers. You think your life is messed up because of the people around you. You think your life is messed up because of the devil. No, your life ain't messed up because of the devil. Your life is messed up because you are a responsible person. Praise the name of God. God said to Abraham, I'm not just going to do it. I need something from you. If you can pray, I can preserve Sodom and Gomorrah. If you can pray, I can change your family. If you can pray, I can take you to the next level. If you can pray, I can send the miracle your way. Don't just ask me and you sit down there doing nothing. I want to say this church, there is something the Lord wants to do for you. But the Lord is asking, can you take your responsibility? If you take your responsibility, the Lord will take his responsibility. For he said to Abraham, if I find five people who are doing my will, I'm going to preserve the city. Praise the name of God. I don't know what you have been praying for, what you have been believing for, but in your spirit, you had the anointing to keep going, keep going, and keep going. When what I see the Lord say to you tonight, He's saying this go and go and say this, for Lord was told, come 